You know, I hear that in the future, all restaurants will be Taco Bells. Hello, everybody. This is the first installment in the K2700 tutorial series. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to load the original DX7 factory patches uh, from SysX files that you can download off the internet into your K2700 so you can turn your K2700 into a DX7. So let's get to it. First thing you need to do is you need to fire up a web browser and you need to go search for DX7 SYX files and you will find a whole ton of websites out there that have Yamaha DX7 files for download. So just clicking on the first one on the list here, we're taken to this page here, Yamaha DX7 SysX sound badges. And if we scroll down, we'll see patches available for download and you see we have the original 32 patches that were shipped with the DX7 uh, from the factory and then the auxiliary bank and then countless other banks going down here in the list and so on and so forth. So just go ahead go ahead and download one of these files rom1a.syx, rom1b.syx I don't care, whatever you like, whatever Whatever patch file has the patches in it that you're interested in, go ahead and download that now. Now you need to get yourself a hold of a thumb drive. Any thumb drive will work out just fine. So stick this into your computer and copy over the SYX files that you just downloaded. So now once you have the SYX files on the thumb drive, go to your K2700 and hit the global key and then hit the file tab down there and it's telling you to insert a thumb drive. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. And we're just going to stick it stick it in right there. So you stick it in and it should recognize it. Thumb drive detected. Blah 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 blah. Hit load at this point. So we hit load. Now we're on the screen where it lists all the files in the root directory of the thumb drive here. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to rom1b.syx, which is the top one there. And then this is important. Hit fill. Hit fill. And it'll say select an ID to start filling from 4096. So uh, what we want to do is we want to, we see we've already got stuff at 4096. So we want to go to the end of the list there. And it looks like 4128 is our next free area here. So once we've selected where we want to load it, then we hit fill again here on the end. If there's not enough unused IDs, blah, 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 we just want to continue. All right, objects loaded OK. And now we click on eject. Eject. And it tells you, eject again, already ejected. All right, whatever. So now we just pull this sucker out of here and we're done. We can hit exit to get back to where we were. Just exit, exit, exit out. And now we're back at the Bristol piano. So now let's take a look at the memory inside the K2700. Starting here at 4127, where we loaded all these files, we basically loaded another 32 patch DX7 bank here. So that goes all the way up to 4159. So, why did we load it at 4127? Well, that turned out to be, pardon me, 4128. That turned out to be the end of where we had loaded the first DX7 bank off camera here. So we scroll all the way back here to 4096 where it starts. This is where the first bank, Bank 1A, starts. And we got the brasses, the strings, so on and so forth. So I loaded the second one for you on camera here starting at 4128. And those are these patches here. An important caveat with the Kurzweil K2700. Uh, when you go ahead and you do a software upgrade, a firmware upgrade, on this machine uh, to a newer version, 
what it does is it wipes your entire flash memory clean so anything you've loaded past 4096 into your memory will disappear why does it do that i don't know uh, that's a really shitty feature of this unit i think i wish it would preserve your user uh, your user settings and your user patches uh, but it doesn't alas so what you have to do is you have to load them from scratch every time you upgrade the firmware in the k2700 so those SYX files that you just downloaded put them in a safe place in case you need to reload them hey kitty this one I believe was the tone that they used for the marimba solo in Axel F or however it goes and that's all there is to it so go ahead and load the original GX7 factory patches into your K2700 and play around. I think the DX7 emulation feature of this machine is really a nice addition. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Kurzweil K2700 content.